Today it's all about the best outdoor pizza oven accessories. We're going to show you the ones that we absolutely love so you can buy the best and forget the rest. And we've got it all coming up. Whether you have an outdoor pizza oven already or whether you're just looking at picking one up for the first time, there are so many accessories for outdoor pizza ovens that are out there. You look at Amazon, it's absolutely full of them. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you the ones that we absolutely love that go along with our Uni ovens. We have both the Coda and the Karu, and we have a video review out on both of those. So if you haven't seen those yet, check out the description below. We have a review on each. But this video is all about the accessories when it comes to pizza peel, it comes to topping stations. You have all kinds of things that people are trying to get you to buy for your accessories for your oven. We want to show you the absolute best. And so there's no place to start, in my opinion, other than the number one accessory that you have to have for a pizza oven, and that's the pizza peel. When it comes to pizza peels, you're probably thinking something that looks like this. This is the bamboo pizza peel or the wooden pizza peel from Uni. It's the first peel that we got and we were actually trying to learn how to launch pizzas on this peel. Now, one of the things I love about this peel is that you can equally launch and pull pizzas out of the oven on this and it's really rather easy. I will say that the width of this peel compared to the ovens that we have make it so that it's kind of hard to spin a pizza or rotate a pizza without pulling that pizza completely out of the oven first in order to rotate it because the peel is just too wide to have any kind of a, a rotating motion inside of the oven, but that's okay. If you're only going to have one peel to be able to work with your pizza oven and you're on a budget, this bamboo pizza peel is probably the one you want to look at. The thing I will also say is that one of the things about this one is it's rather thick. I'm not sure if you can see how thick that is on here, but it's probably a good half inch, three quarter inches thick. And so it's not exactly like you're sliding something super thin underneath your pizza when it comes time to pull your pizza out of the oven. So that's something to consider, but the thickness is good in that you're working with wood here and you don't want that wood to crack. Now, if you take a look at the peel itself, you can see that it's bamboo pieces that are glued or melded together. With those pieces as they're glued together, there is some potential for separation, especially if you have this peel get wet quite often and it stays wet. If it's something that you store outside and it freezes and thaws, um, the glue can separate on this and you might lose your peel altogether. So that's just something to think about. If you're in the budget range and you wanna make sure that you're not spending that much on a peel, the bamboo one is a really good one to consider as your first starter peel. Another thing about the bamboo peel is when you're putting flour or cornmeal or whatever it is you're gonna put on your peel to make sure that the dough doesn't stick when you go to launch, um, I find that the flour on the wooden peel doesn't get stuck or sticky. It actually is quite easy to move on the peel. I really do like that about the bamboo peel. So from a launching perspective, the bamboo peel is easy to work with. It's actually easier than our next peel. So there's advantages and there's disadvantages. So let's take a look at peel option number two. This is the 14 inch metal pizza peel from Uni. Now you'll notice a few things about this peel right off the bat. When it comes to thickness, it is super razor thin. This is a very, very thin pizza peel. And with that is an advantage. It's not very hard to get under your pizza when you're trying to pull a pizza out of the oven. Um, it's not hard to be able to launch a pizza from it because it's so thin on the bottom. But this is where there's a little bit of discrepancy between the bamboo wooden peel and this metal pizza peel. It's really in the way that it launches a pizza. If you take raw dough that has any kind of stick to it or it's sticky at all, and you put it on a piece of cold or even warm metal, it's going to stick harder on the metal than it is on the wood. Wood tends to be a little bit more forgiving than this metal pizza peel. So one of the advantages, really, really easy to get in and out of the oven. It's easy to get under a half-baked pizza to rotate it, but it is a little harder to launch on this peel from what I've found. So one of the reasons it's a little harder to launch on this peel is because there's so much drag when you're trying to take a raw pizza off of a metal peel and onto the baking stone. 
One of the ways to reduce that drag is to actually make this peel slotted, a way that you could actually cut holes in the bottom of the peel, allowing some of your flour and things to be able to slide off the bottom so they don't end up on the bottom of your oven. So this is the 14 inch slotted or perforated pizza peel. When you start looking at this, you can see all of the perforations that are in this pizza peel, allowing some of your excess flour to fall off, giving you less resistance as you're trying to launch the pizza. And this is a little bit more costly than the one that has no perforations in it. But at the same time, it is the easiest to launch a pizza out of all the pizza peels that I've tried from Uni. So if I'm gonna recommend only one peel out of all the pizza peels that are on there, I would buy this peel the 14 inch perforated peel, because it's become the one that I reach for every time we're making pizzas. Whether I'm on the Karu 16 or whether I'm on the Coda 16, either one, this is the peel that I grab for. Now, if you're only gonna buy one pizza peel, that's the one I go to. Now, if you're gonna buy two pizza peels, then what I would do is I would look into our next option, which is a great complement to the 14 inch perforated peel. This is the Uni turning peel. Now the turning peel is what assists you when it comes time to turn the pizza in the oven. Now one of the things about Uni pizza ovens is that you have one side of the pizza that is constantly facing the fire. In the case of the Karu 16, the fire is coming from the back, so the back side of the pizza is what's facing the fire at all times. In the Coda 16, you actually have an L-shaped burner, it's a 90 degree burner, so two sides of the pizza are facing the fire at all times. What you'll find is that the side that's facing the fire will definitely rise and burn faster than the side that's away from the fire. So the thing you need to do is you need to be able to rotate that pizza in the oven so that one side doesn't burn. Well, you can do that with these other metal peels or the wooden peel. You can pull the pizza all the way out and rotate it and then stick it all the way back in. But what we found that we really enjoy using is this peel. This is the turning peel. All you do is you stick it underneath the pizza on one side and you rotate the pizza around so that you don't even have to take the pizza out of the oven in order to rotate it. So what we find is that we launch pizzas with the 14 inch perforated peel and then we stick that onto the holder onto our cart onto one of the utility hooks and then we pull off the turning peel and we use that for the rest of the cook. We use it to rotate the pizza three or four, five, six times in the oven. And then we'll even use the turning peel to pull the pizza out of the oven to put it on the cutting board or wherever we're going to have it rest. This turning peel has turned out to be very valuable when we're cooking a number of pizzas in a row. And for our family of four, we're cooking four or five pizzas uh, per setting. But whenever we're having guests over, we're cooking 10, 12, 15, or even more pizzas. And we find that we use this turning peel all the time. It's been well worth the expenditure to be able to have this added to our collection. Okay, so that covers peels and getting pizzas in and out of the oven. Now, one thing I didn't think about though, was how to measure the temperature of the stone floor inside the oven to understand if it's ready to put a pizza in or not. Now, we talk about in some of our other videos, but I'll recap here quickly. It's important to understand the temperature of the stone because the stone temperature on top of that stone is going to determine whether the bottom of your crust gets any char or not while it's cooking. If that stone is too cold and you put a pizza on top, the bottom of your pizza will be doughy and not cooked when the top of your pizza is completely ready to be taken out. So stone temperature really matters when you're working with an uni pizza oven. And what we found is using the laser infrared thermometer gives us the exact temperature of the stone irregardless of what the temperature on the front of the oven says. Now the Karu 16 has a lovely little thermometer or temperature readout on the front of the oven and that will tell us, you know, we're in the 750 degree range, but there's been multiple times where we're cooking in the 750 degree range and the stone's only up to 300, 350 degrees. And well, that's just not enough to be able to cook the bottom of a pizza well. So what we found is that this does a fantastic job of letting us know the stone temperature of the oven so we know whether we're ready to cook. Now, another thing that it tells us is it tells us the time in between pizzas if we're ready to put the next pizza in. One of the things I talk about in the Coda 16 review is that it's not necessarily ready for another pizza as soon as you pull the previous pizza out because the stone needs a little bit of time to rebound in temperature to get that nice char on the bottom. 
Well, that's where this thermometer comes in. This is where I can take this and shoot this at the stone and see if the stone has rebounded in temperature yet before I launch that next pizza, allowing us to know that, yeah, this pizza is going to cook on the bottom and on the top. Um, that's where this has become very, very valuable in our kit. So it's something for you to consider as an accessory that we hadn't thought about, but now we use it all the time. Now, it's not every time that you need to worry about the stone temperature. It's really about when you're cooking dough right on the stone. Now, a time that I don't worry about the stone temperature is when I'm using something like the Grizzler plate. Now, this is a cast iron plate that has grill grates on one side, has a flat surface on the other, and this is a cast iron plate that you can put right into the oven to preheat as you're preheating your oven. Now, the thing I love about this is we cook fajitas on this all the time. Steak fajitas, chicken fajitas, shrimp fajitas, all different cuts of steak. That's one of the things I really like about this Grizzler plate is that I can stick steak in the uni and I don't have to worry about grease and things splattering all over the place, making that stone just an absolute mess to cook on. So the Grizzler plate is something that we use when we're not looking to fire up another grill or we don't want to take the time to go ahead and get a charcoal grill going. It's just turn on a nice gas oven like the Coda 16, stick the Grizzler plate in there, and after about 15, 20 minutes, all I do is I bring my steak or my veggies out, stick it on that plate and shove it in the oven, and I have gorgeous high heat fired fajitas that are just delicious. And so that's something that we've really come to enjoy is adding that cast iron plate to the whole entire collection, and Uni calls it their Grizzler plate. So this is an accessory that we didn't get the first go around. This is something that we got as an add-on later to give us more cooking options and really enhance our experience with the oven. So for those of you who have picked up an Uni, or you have a friend, a friend or a family member who picked up an Uni and you're trying to shop for them for Christmas or birthday or some kind of a gift, Grizzler plate is a fantastic addition because it opens up a whole new avenue of cooking for your Uni pizza oven. Now this next accessory is one that I have to admit we didn't use for probably the first six months that we owned a pizza oven and I wish I probably would have had it. And the reason comes behind it is you'll understand when I show it to you, but it's this. And this is the brush and or scraper tool that allows you to clean out the oven. Now why in the world do I need this? Well. I need this in both gas and wood-fired ovens. The reason being, as you're launching pizzas, it's inevitable that you're gonna have toppings fall off your pizza. It's inevitable that some sauce is gonna come off of a pizza, or you might tear one as you're going to move it around. And those toppings that get stuck on that stone, they're a mess. And they'll make it very, very hard to be able to launch successfully new pizzas and other things into the oven without cleaning them out. Now, one of the things Uni says on their website is that you should not use this in a lit and or hot oven. Um, I'll say the same thing. You probably shouldn't use it in a lit or hot oven. Have I used it in a lit or hot oven? Maybe. But whenever I have pepperoni that's stuck to the cooking surface, if I can get it off with one of my pizza peels, I will. But if I can't get it off with a pizza peel, you know I'm going to reach for this and I'm going to try to get it off that way. And really when it comes down to thinking about a wood-fired oven or thinking about something you're firing with charcoal, it's inevitable you're going to have pops and snaps in the wood and in the fuel that are going to put debris into your cooking field. So it's very, very common to have a piece of uh, cooked wood that pops out of the fire and be on top of the cooking surface. It's very common to see something come from a piece of charcoal or eat. there's all types of things that will be left there. And to be able to scrape that out and get that out of the way, that's what this is for. In addition to just the leftover flour that's on the bottom of your pizza that ends up in the oven that flour will burn and you'll find that there's little speckles of black dust all over the bottom of your pizza oven that's just gonna be picked up by the dough when you put it inside next. So this is one that I have to admit, not a sexy accessory, but it's one that we use all the time to be able to clean out the oven so that our pizzas look good all the way around and we're not just carrying debris from cook to cook. All right, this next one is for those of you who actually have a wood-fired oven and you're gonna be starting a fire in the back. So especially the Karu 16, um, I really like what's called the Uni Wood Pack, and I think it's called the Oak Pack, but the Oak Pack is a fantastic, easy, easy way to handle making sure that you have the right wood for your cook. It comes with fire starters, these little fire starters or starter bundles that you can put underneath your charcoal or your wood. I like that it comes with at least, I don't know, six or eight or more of those. You just put those underneath your fuel, light them up, and you're good to go. Another thing that it comes with are starter cut pieces of wood. These are just small pieces of oak that have really been stripped down to, you know, something that's about an inch 
by maybe four or five inches. But this is the kind of wood that you wanna to use to start your oven to make sure that you're gonna get a successful coal bed before you start adding the bigger chunks of wood. Now the bigger chunks of wood look like this. This is something that is really absolutely flat out amazing to be able to carry great flame over the top of your pizza. But this right here is not what you wanna start a pizza oven with. This is what you wanna start a pizza oven with. But there's one thing that I found in cutting wood down to the right size, when you get wood delivered or you buy it on you know, Facebook Marketplace and someone delivers a, a cord or a half cord or a rick of wood, it doesn't come in this size. It really comes down to how much work you wanna put forward to be able to get wood to be the right size for your oven. If you're starting with wood logs that are this big and you have to get them down to go into a, a, an oven size port that's this large, that's a lot of cutting down. Either you have a chainsaw outside or you have a chainsaw plus a kindling cracker or you have some kind of a maul or there's all different types of options of cutting wood. But I have to be honest, I actually used my first oak pack and I loved how it went. It was so easy. I went to light up the oven. I had the right size. I had the fire starters. I went to actually get fire, fire over the top. As I was cooking pizzas, I put a bigger log on the fire. It was just simple. Now, when I ran out of that oak pack, I thought, ah, no big deal. I'll go ahead and just go outside and I'll cut the wood down to the right size and I'll be good to go. Well, I have a chainsaw and I have a pole saw and I have a kindling cracker XL and I have a bunch of different accessories for cutting wood around here. But it was a pain in the butt trying to get wood cut down to the right size for this oven. It just took hours and hours of work. And so I even tried to get the kids involved in this, thinking, hey, maybe the kids are gonna help and this is all gonna be fun. It's not that much fun for the kids either. So I find myself out here trying to prep wood for a cook and it just takes a while. So if you're all about the convenience and you want something super easy, maybe you're inviting friends over and you're gonna have a cookout and you want all that prep done, just order a wood pack, it shows up at your door, that'll get you through, I don't know, two, three, four cooks, depending on how many cooks you're doing. Um, it's one of the things that I've come to love about using uh, the uni ovens is that I can just order a pack of wood and I am set to go for the whole entire cook. Now, if you're planning on keeping your oven outside, you could just let it roll. You could let it sit outside. They're made of what powder coated steel and stainless steel, and they will probably be okay. Now they most likely won't rust in the first year or two, but if you let them stay out there long term and the water's constantly on them and you're going to find that rust might eventually kind of seep into the equation here. So you might want to think about a cover. And one of the things I found about uni ovens is that the uni covers are perfectly fit to the oven. Something like the Karu 16, which you look at and go, man, it's going to be hard to make a cover for that. The Karu 16 cover, I love this cover. They thought of the two things I would be concerned about if I was buying a cover for my oven. And the first one is, is it going to fit snugly around? Is it going to fit so much that wind is not going to blow it off and I'm going to find it down at the neighbor's house? Because with as many grills and ovens as we have here, we're constantly finding covers down the road. Luckily, my, my neighbor James down the road finds them, brings them back to the backyard, helps me weight them down, and he'll just call me and say, hey, by the way, I found another cover. Well, he's yet to find an uni cover, and that's one of, the, one of the real testaments to uni, is that they make their covers so they don't blow off. Now, the thing that helps with that is that the cover on the bottom is elastic. So it wraps around the bottom of the oven, and there's an elastic uh, band to make sure that it fits tightly. And there's even a belt that you can take and put underneath the oven and hook on the other side so that the cover not only hugs the oven, but has a belt underneath to make sure that it stays tight on the oven. We've never lost an uni cover, and that's, that's hats off to uni for that. So if you're looking for a cover and you're thinking about doing it on the cheap and you wanna go find one on Amazon, I'm just gonna tell you the best I've ever found is the unis. I've never lost one and they just stay put. So uh, something to consider if you wanna protect your investment. Another accessory to think about is what are you going to put your oven on? Now we have an outdoor kitchen and our outdoor kitchen has all different types of cooking appliances. We have griddles, we have grills, we have charcoal grills, we have a sink, we have all different types of things out here. But what we thought we were going to do is just stick our uni pizza oven on the counter and just let it be a counter oven and, and no big deal. Well, inevitably we found in the last six to eight months that we are entertaining so often that we're not using the pizza oven every time we entertain. And so we're constantly moving that pizza oven so we have more counter space. Well, that's where the medium table came in. One day I just got so fed up with having to constantly move the oven around that I just went to the Uni website, I found the medium sized table and I ordered it. 
and the thing was probably a week until it came in. When that thing showed up at my door, it sat in the garage for a couple days until I needed to move the oven again. And I thought, now's the time. We're gonna build that thing. We're gonna go take it outside. We're gonna put the uni oven on the cart. That way I can move it around. And so we have the oven on the cart now, and we found that it's become our center island for our outdoor kitchen. So you see the uni oven on top of the medium table, and then on the two shelves below, you find all of the accessories for our uni ovens. There's our peels hanging from the hooks on the side. There's the um, oak pack on the bottom in the middle, under the pavilion and out of the rain. We have the topping station. We have our brushes. All of that is underneath on that cart. And so whenever it comes time for pizza, we can move that cart wherever we want to on the patio and the wheels that make it easy to move. Now it's nice because that cart has two locking wheels, making sure that in the winds that we get here in the Midwest, our pizza oven cart doesn't end up at the neighbor's house. But so far, those wheels have performed admirably, even in 60 mile an hour winds that we've had blow through the lap. All right, now we've come a long way. We've talked about a whole lot of accessories, but this accessory right here that I'm coming up with now, I wanna tell you, when you find yourself flush with cash, and you find yourself just wanting to spend on that uni and you want to be able to be the hostess or host with the most, uh, that's where this comes in. Now, it is called the pizza topping station and it comes in six modular sections. So you have the smaller section and you have a larger section. There's two of these and there's four of these. Now you can put anything in them that you want. What we find is in the larger containers, we'll put our pizza sauces or our cheeses. And in the smaller containers, that's where we put our pizza toppings. And before we would just have Tupperware container after glass container of whatever we could find in the fridge with all kinds of pizza, pizza toppings all over the counter. And this has really cleaned up the way that we do pizza parties and entertaining with pizza. Um, is it an absolute necessity? No. But you know what? If you want to surprise that pizza lover in your life and you want to give them something that they're really going to enjoy that's going to make them look like they know what they're doing when it comes to pizza, uh, this is a surefire winner. We really like this one. And this is one of the newer offerings from Uni when it comes to their accessories. And this is one that we're super excited about. And the fact that we can also take these containers and the lids that snap on, they have the nice little uh, rubber gasket on the inside, but they also stack. And you can stack these, these containers in the refrigerator. So you can go ahead and load them full of your toppings, sauces, and cheese, and they're ready for the big night when people are coming over. And all you have to do is pull those containers out and they're ready to go. Take off the lid and it's pizza time. So those are our must-have pizza accessories when you're talking about your outdoor oven, whether it be the Koda, the Karu, or one of the other various ovens that Uni offers. So this is part of an entire playlist that we have out. We've done a deep dive review on the Karu 16. We've done a deep dive review on the Koda 16. We've done how to make Neapolitan pizza dough. We've done how to actually go from dough ball to rolled out perfectly circular pizza. We have another video that's all about how to launch your pizza and how to actually get a nice Neapolitan cook in one of the uni ovens. We have this video, which is all about accessories, and we have more coming all the time. So if you have any questions about uni and or your outdoor oven experience, uh, check out this playlist. We'll, li we'll link it down in the description below. We've made this to be able to help you enjoy your outdoor cooking experience. So if this is the thing that you really enjoy, you're all about outdoor cooking, well, this is the channel for you. We would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing to our channel because that's what we do. We're all about outdoor cooking and outdoor living, and we want to see you be the host or hostess with the mostest in your backyard. And that's what we're all about here at the Barbecue Lab. If you're considering any type of a purchase, just check out the links in the description below. You'll help us out a ton, but it won't cost you any more. I just wanna say thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time right here on the Barbecue Lab.